All right, welcome back. Today we've got a Google video. There's been some headlines with the antitrust ruling for Google. So we're gonna talk about some of the details. We're looking at the chart here first. Um, you can see here we're off our highs of 191 a little bit. So we're down about 30 bucks. And it's been one of the slower um, Mag7 companies to recover. Uh, Google and Amazon have been two of the slower companies to get back near their all-time highs. When you have Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, those are all near all-time highs and recovered, have recovered really well in this recent dip. Um, so we'll see how long Google will stay in the dumps, but a lot of this is some of the uncertainty when it comes to this antitrust ruling. So let's get into it. A lot to read over here. Um, but when it comes to will the DOJ break up Apple, there's a lot of, or Google, there's a lot of talk about this. Uh, because last week there was an antitrust ruling which found Google to have used its dominance in the search market in favor of its own products. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see better. Um, whoa. All right. So um, the financial impact here, when you have um, Google's mainly an advertising business, you've got 57% of its overall revenue coming from that, $175 billion generated in ads in 2023. And the company has paid $29 billion in um, acquisition costs to secure its dominance with 20 billion of that going to Apple by itself. So when you open up an Apple product and you go to the search engine, uh, Google is the default search engine. I believe it used to be Safari, which was terrible and um, so Google has paid to be that default. Instead of having people have to switch over, they're the default on Apple, and that costs Google 20 billion a year, which is 20 billion for Apple revenue each year. Um, when you look at the dominance here, the market share for Google, they control 89% of the general search market, 95% on mobile, which is pretty interesting. And the competitors besides Google are Bing and DuckDuckGo. Now, I've only seen DuckDuckGo when you download like McAfee anti-software or something like that. They want you to switch over from Google to some other random search engine, which sucks. Same thing with Yahoo, just terrible. So some of the potential remedies from this court ruling. So they ruled against the case or they ruled against Google saying, hey, yeah, you vi you're in violation here. They haven't come up with a solution that will be determined at a later date. So the ruling could lead to remedies such as ending exclusive deals, behavioral changes, or even structural remedies like divesting certain business segments. So that means they're, it's on the table for them to break up Google. There's been a lot of talk, uh, you know, breaking up Meta. Meta's a, a social media monopoly. Let's break it up. Google is a monopoly. Let's break it up. So... Um, that is on the table, apparently, to the regulators. We'll see if that happens. And um, what we're seeing here is there's three companies that are intertwined here. You've got Apple, Microsoft, and Google. And there's an opportunity for all these companies to win and lose in this scenario. So if Google no longer can pay to Apple, does that open the door for Microsoft Bing to get more market share? That also means that Google... Uh, gets to save that $20 billion and will the free market, will people naturally gravitate towards Google anyways, like they've had in the past, or will people switch over to something else? Now, Apple doesn't get that $20 billion. Does that leave the door open for DuckDuckGo and Bing to give them $10 billion each? So there's just, there's a lot of moving parts here where it's interesting, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out and who wins and who loses in this situation. At the end of the day, I still, I like Google a lot and this could have an impact on their business. We'll just have to wait and see. This could be a good thing for their business. We don't know. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty and the market doesn't like uncertainty. And also we're seeing this at a time where search is, it's being threatened by AI. So if you have a basic question, do you go to Google or do you go to ChatGPT? Do you go to your favorite AI model or do you go to Google? I think most people go to their, their favorite AI model versus going to Google. But if you need a dinner reservation, you're still going to Google. If you need a travel uh, book travel, you're still gonna go to Google. 
but when it comes to certain search queries, people are no longer going to go just to Google. They're using other, um, they're using other AI-based search engines. Now Google has their own search engine. Everyone's got their own. So that's where the the, the playing field is kind of being wide open. Um, I myself still use Google a lot for a lot of services, uh, but it'll be interesting to see can they keep that market dominance when it comes to search alone because there's going to be a lot of competitors and you're also seeing the government kind of crack down on them. Uh, so the one thing I wanted to show here was here is, let me zoom out. Here's a little graphic that shows um, how dominant Google search is. So this is just mobile. Again, 95%. 1% for all these others. I don't even know what some of these, yeah, DuckDuckGo, Baidu, Yandex, Yahoo, other, Bing, and um, it's just pretty unbelievable. Now when we look at advertising, still Google is the big dog, and then you've got Meta, and then Amazon down below, so pretty unbelievable. And how Google makes money, this is the full year of 2023 mostly search compared to the other businesses. Now they do have um, other good businesses in here. They have cloud that's growing at 26%. They've got YouTube that's growing at 8%. Uh, they have a lot of other bets when it comes to Google, not just the, the search, but the search is their big breadwinner. So if they lose there, how much does that take away from Google uh, in itself? You know, their revenue, $300 billion last year in revenue half of that is search so it'll be interesting how this all plays out me personally um, I am continuing to buy Google at these prices I like it I like it at uh, in under 170 I'll be buying dollar cost averaging probably every week into Google and until we get some some more certainty and it's a outcome that I don't like um, I'll have to reassess then but in the meantime I don't think there's a, I don't see a ton of bad scenarios other than some great AI chatbot taking away a ton of eyeballs away from Google. But I think they'll be able to make up for that in the cloud, in YouTube, and other services. So they'll be okay in the long term, in my opinion, until it's proven otherwise. So um, we'll have to wait and see what this all looks like. There was one other thing I wanted to mention here. Uh, I can't rem remember. So that's all I really wanted to go over. Oh, it was the breakup. So that seems to be the, the worst case scenario. Now there is a possibility for the government to say, Google, you're a monopoly. We don't like what you're doing. Let's break it up. I think that's unlikely. I think what they will do instead is they'll probably say, you know what? You can't pay for these exclusive search deals. We're going to take that off the table uh, and we're going to make, uh, we're going to have Microsoft get the next deal for Apple, uh, something like that. I, I could see that happening before they break up Google. Google could be also pre, um, they could preemptively say, you know what, to solve this solution, we're gonna break ourselves up. And if they break themselves up, the sum of the parts for all their, all their businesses, I think will be worth more than what it is as a whole. So you get a little bit of a discount when you buy the whole basket of Google, but if they were to spin off YouTube, spin off the cloud, spin off search, spin off Android. I think you could see all those businesses getting a higher valuation by themselves. I know a lot of people that myself included would like to just buy some YouTube and the Google Cloud. I would be totally hap happy just investing in those. If they were to split up and give me all these different businesses, I would sell off some of them and just double down on YouTube and Cloud because those are the parts of the business I'm most excited for. The growth story there. Uh, the search business is their cash cow, and you want that, but it is possibly being threatened, uh, but I think they'll be okay and monetize it in uh, different ways. So that's all I really got in this video. Uh, we'll wait and see what's going on, but I do think this little bit of a discount you're getting on Google because of the uncertainty here. Uh, we'll look back in a year or so and, and be like, you know, that really there wasn't a huge material change. That was a great um, buying opportunity for Google as we've seen with some of these other big companies like Meta, like Amazon, Microsoft. Um, so we'll wait and see. I'll give you updates on uh, 
any future news. But until then, have a great rest of your day. Peace out.